Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal with eXp Realty. During this video today, I'm gonna to update you on our market here in the greater Toronto area. Prices are up by 14% over the past 12 months. Uh, we're seeing a lot of fluctuations with the market, so I'm gonna talk about the market in depth. I'm also gonna give you my predictions as we hit this second wave of COVID. First though, I do wanna give a special thank you to all of my amazing clients. As recently, I've received this award, Top 30 Realtors Under the Age of 30. So you all know who you are. I'm really grateful to have done business with you during the year of 2019. I've tried reaching out to you all individually, but in case I was not able to get a hold of you, know that I do sincerely appreciate your business and I hope that you enjoyed working with me. And now as we do get into the video, do keep in mind that I'm looking for buyers and sellers. If you know anyone buying or selling in the next short while, call me, call me, call me. My number is 416-671-5218. And I've built a wonderful resource for all of you buyers. If you're looking for property and realtor.ca maybe isn't the right platform for you, then do visit my website, torontorealestatenow.com as you'll likely find it a very useful tool. So I'm shooting this video October 13th, 2020. I'm very excited because we've got all the data from January up until the end of September from the Toronto MLS. So we can see here, uh, we have a breakdown of the sales, the active listings, the months of inventory, the average price, and the days on market. So let's take a look at sales. We can see here there was an actual increase by 2.9% from August, to September. So these are big numbers. It's not usually this high. It's just the fact that, of course, due to COVID and the severity of COVID during the second quarter, that had slowed down sales and we had a late spring type of effect. Similarly, if we look at active listings, it's up by 9% from August to September. And take a look at the difference between April to September. There was only 10,000 active listings around that time, and now we're looking at 18,000. So you can search for property comfortably knowing there's a lot of inventory to choose from. And at the same time, this is probably a very good market to both sell and buy at the same time. Let's take a look at the months of inventory. This is generally a sign of how much it swings in the direction of being a seller's market versus a buyer's market. Seller's market meaning a good time to sell, buyer's market meaning a good time to buy. And if we're looking at months of inventory below two, then we found that here in the greater Toronto area, this generally means a hot market. Properties are selling in less than a couple of weeks, very often with multiple offers. So we're at 1.6 now, which is slightly higher than August, although you can see it's in the grand scheme of things, not a big difference as back in April, our months of inventory was 3.5. And now take a look at this. Here's where things get neat. The average price is at its highest it's been all year. Our average price is now 961,000. Again, this is across the whole greater Toronto area and it's gone up even by 1% since August. So this is great news, especially for those of you who are looking to sell your home and you've been waiting for the right time for maybe your property values to increase to back to what they were in 2017. Uh, we're finding that our seller clients are especially happy right now. And then we'll take a look at days on market. This number is kind of skewed because of course with condominiums, they may take a little bit longer to sell because the time in which an offer is accepted to the time in which a property is sold is usually about a week or so given that there's more due diligence to be done. So we can see here though, the average days on market is 22 and this is better for sellers than it was in August and July as shown. And then in March, for example, when you can make the argument that the market was very hot despite prices being a little bit lower, the average days on market was 13. The next image which I wanna show you looks at the sales and the average price in September 2020 versus September 2019. So this does not mean year to date, this is just comparing those two months specifically, which is no surprise as I mentioned that sales are up significantly by 41.6%, really just because we're experiencing that late spring market, as a lot of people were not buying homes at the end of March, April and May, and now they're back into the marketplace. And then with our average price, again, great news for sellers, our average property is up by 14%, now at $961,000. So as you can see in all this information, the market definitely did pick up after lockdown ended from the first wave of COVID. It'll be interesting to see what happens now moving forward. And as a further illustration, you can see here in the quarter three, the sales numbers were up significantly, 32,000 sales in quarter three versus the second quarter where we only had 16,000 sales and quarter one, about 20,000 sales. And now if you were to ask me, are values going to drop now that we're in the second wave of COVID? Um, my answer to that question is no, as interest rates are still very low, 
And the first wave of COVID, once it hit, the values did not really plummet too significantly. It was just that the days on market did significantly increase as well as condo sales were hurt. Condos, our average days on market was longer and the prices did slightly decrease. So I don't really see any sort of major change. Perhaps the market may soften. We may see more listings just take a little bit of more time to sell. But overall, not a dramatic change and I still do think it's a very good time to buy. The way I'm gonna end this video is with an insertion of another video I've made on property which you can buy with an $800,000 budget here in the greater Toronto area. I think you'll find that quite helpful. I appreciate your support. Be sure to click subscribe, like, comment below. And if you're an agent looking for opportunity, I've recently switched over brokerages from Remax over to EXP where I'm a partial owner and I'd love to talk to you about how you can increase your business. So do call me. My number is 416 671 5218. Always looking for business, buying, selling, investing, anything I can do to help. Again, just call me. My number is 416 671 5218. And I'll look forward to seeing you all next time. One also sold above the asking price, listed for 778 and sold for 795, which seems to be the trend around this price range. Going back to Toronto, this property sold for 790,000. It's by Eglinton and Jane. Two bedrooms, three washrooms, although it does have two kitchens and a separate entrance.